Today we are paddling on Varoon Pocket up in the Blackall Ranges in Queensland. Varoon Pocket Dam is in the Blackall Ranges in the hinterland of the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. So this is a place that I have wanted to paddle for quite some time now. It's a, a lock. <laughs> it's a lake that's quite familiar, or actually I should say dam. It's um, not a natural lake. There's a big dam wall. It's one of those places that I wanted to come and have a look at from the water. Never actually been in or on the water before, so this is a really cool opportunity to get out there and explore the, the lake a little bit more. There are two entry points into the lake. There's one on the Montville side and one on the Mullaney side. Today we use the entry point on the Mullaney side. The other exciting thing about today too is the fact that this is the maiden voyage of my fat stick inflatable paddleboard in Australia. So they've not long arrived in the country from Scotland and this is the first chance I've had to get out on the water on them. So um, that's pretty exciting too. First one in Australia. So yeah, another interesting part of the scenery here is the dead trees. Again, because it's a dam, the water levels have been artificially risen, uh, killing some of the trees. So if you are paddling here, definitely something you need to be mindful of. The water typically is a little murky, as most waterways are in Australia. So that crystal clear colour, which is um, because of, I guess, all the sediments and things. Our soils here in Australia are really, really old. However, I have noticed already that you can actually see some areas where the dead trees are uh, pruned just below the water surface. Something to be aware of is that you do need to keep a lookout for any tree trunks just under the water level. such a beautiful day today. I am going to take it nice and easy and probably just have a sit down paddle because it's nice and still, um, nice and sunny and this particular spot's probably good to um, just take it easy just because of all the wee bits of tree in the water. So as I've said before, submerge objects, you don't want to hit them um, because one, they can damage your board, uh, but two, if you as a moving object, hit a stationary object, then you, there's a good chance you're gonna fall off. <laughs> so falling off into the water is not that big a deal. Falling off into the water and onto whatever object it was that you hit is another matter. So obviously you don't want that to happen. But yeah, I mean, it's a perfect day just for a nice chill paddle. Uh, it's the middle of winter. This area of the Sunshine Coast is one of the places that a lot of people come for holidays during the winter from down south. And this is why, <laughs> not bad. We're in the upper reaches of the dam at the moment. So lots of dead trees and things about us. It's quite, quite interesting scenery though. It's a shame to sort of have dead trees obviously being flooded with the rising levels of the dam. So obviously, like I said, it makes a bit more of a hazard, but it's also, yeah, it makes a, a quite an interesting landscape as well.
looks like the end of the road as far as the dam goes. This is one of the upper reaches of where the water level goes to, but there's about two kilometres or so um, that you can go up one of the little valleys to the end of the water. And this is it. For more information on paddleboarding at this location, check out our website, which includes specifics on directions, parking, weather conditions, and water entry points, along with information on water temperature where available. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful, please support us by liking, subscribing, clicking notification, and sharing with your paddleboarding mates. While you're here, check out some of these other videos. See you next time.